Good afternoon and welcome viewers to Bacon TV. We have a fun packed afternoon of viewing for you today and we'll hopefully be speaking to Max, the rolling reporter, who is live in location at South End. We also have our usual cookery program in the light in, in the studio live, where I believe they'll be cooking up some lovely Chinese chicken wings. And of course we have our news, weather and bulletins. Um, however, I think we can go live to Max now in South End. South End Airport, I believe, Max. Max, are you there? Max? Yeah, you are Max. All right. Life to you, mate. Yep. All right. This and that. Okay. Good afternoon. Welcome to South End Airport, where we are witnessing the attempted takeoff of the Vulcan bomber. This aeroplane has been on the runway at Southland Airport for over 20 years. On runway 7 and back taxi. Uh, back taxi up to uh, Charlie 8. And make the left turn at Charlie 8. That's where the runs are directed. Lear to traffic on the taxi. Go ahead and take a look. I'll go to 686 please. That's the 686 to change approved. 13 leveling 6 fast. Approach Roger, fly heading 340, join the Gorman 8 departure, climb maintain 12000. 413. Dango Marlin 70, whiskey contact, one to approach 128.65, get in. On runway 33, clip for takeoff. Yes, Max, yes. Oh, blimey, what a palaver. Dear me. Anyway, Max, yeah, we'll see you back at the studio soon for another follow-up. And maybe for one of your fantastic, but, well, just fantastic, another report. Okay, that's it from me and the studio. Be back after the break. One of my faves, the special today, the nutty Zenny's Wine and Dine. Cool, blimey, she does go in that way, doesn't she? Fabulous but foul. And we have cut them in long ways. And then into little cubes. Peel the carrots. Peel the carrots. Whilst 
whilst he's doing the celery, then that saves a little bit of time. And also, drink lots of wine. Oh! Yeah. Oh, the lens off those ones. That's it. And then let's break those, shall we? Should we put them? No, we won't put those in. They're a little bit ugly. Right? And that's something done, actually, as you can see. Chop the white cabbage up. As you can see, the uh, chicken wings are coming on the treat. You do need to keep them turned regularly. Otherwise, um, they tend to get a little bit sticky on the bottom. But that's really good work. Right, um, once we've got your mixture correct, we then need to start adding the mayonnaise, mayonnaise and salad cream. So, basically, the idea here is you give a good, 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 good mixture of salad cream and mayonnaise. Alice is ready to serve, so let's be putting the fridge for rounds. Until we're ready, really. And I think that we'd all agree that these have turned out absolutely great. Yeah. I think we need an extra, extra cheer for Max because he did very well. Is it here? No. South, 
cow's flying to the north. What next? Stay inside, otherwise you'll smell. <laughs> Humongous Tornado Charlie, it's on its way to your area. Wind and hail, the size of golf balls, what next? I'm so annoyed. Carolers, Max is a walking talk of disaster he is, over to Sam in our news bulletins. Hello and welcome, my name is Sam Bacon, on Bacon TV News, here on Shed Light for today. Last night there was a horrendous racket from the neighbours of Shoebury. It sounded a little like this. 99 bomb, 99 bomb, 99 bomb, 99 bomb. When the police discovered the next day, it was only a centipede with a wooden leg. <laughs> Last night, two boys were found running away from two individual factories. One caught running away from a firework factory and one was caught running away from a battery factory. Dodge one and let the other one off. <laughs> Last night, a toilet factory had all its toilets stolen in one fell swoop. Up till now, the police have nothing to go on. <laughs> Top this morning complained that their milk bottles were a bit watery. The shopkeeper apologised, saying, Farmer Jones left his cows out in the rain last night. <laughs> and here we are at the end of the news today. I'll take you over to Matthew Bacon in the main studio. <laughs> and over to our sponsors. Hello and welcome. My name is Mr. Vanish and I'm here in the Bacon TV studio kitchen where I'll be demonstrating some Vanish Oxy Action Brilliant Stain Remover. Rupert! Please may I buy you a second? Ah, here we have Rupert. Rupert, stand here for me. Don't be camera shy. Right, here we have Raspberry Jam. Orange with bits. Ketchup. Yes, um, here we are covering Rupert's favourite t shirt he's informed of. That, um, we are spreading raspberry jam all over it. It's a very, very hard substance to remove, like grease. <laughs> As you can see here, Rupert's favourite t-shirt. Now we've asked Rupert to take off his lovely t-shirt and um, for a little bit of tangy taste to it. To it. There goes the Right, and for our puree resistance, a bit of pepper. Now for the magic. Here we add a huge scoop of our Vanish Boxy action in and this is when the magic is coming a lovely sometime later here as you can see all the stains have come out of your quite old jiggy you can turn around for me daddy yes look look how lovely the stains have come out you're all, you're all a bit, you're all flabbergated. But that's not my t-shirt, it's not my t-shirt. Of it's your t-shirt. It's not come. my t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. And as you can see, great Vanish Oxy action has worked. No, 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 no. That's all from me, Mr. Vanish in the Bacon TV Studio Kitchen. We'll be back for another demonstration soon. Definitely do the job. One, two, 